She's a seismologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. Susan, thank you very much for joining us. Give us some context right now. First of all, what can you tell us about this, this 4.8 earthquake? Well, so the estimate now is 4.7. It might vary a little bit. It is obviously not a usual event. It's not unheard of that but on the west coast of North America, you have an active plate boundary. You have the San Andreas Fault, and we know that's an active earthquake zone. On the east coast, the continent and the ocean are glued together. You don't have an active plate boundary, but you do have stress. And we have had moderately large earthquakes and damaging earthquakes up and down the Atlantic seaboard in Charleston, South Carolina in 1886, um, in Virginia in 2011, in Quebec in 1989. So they do happen. Uh, going back to the 1700s and 1800s, there were earthquakes close to magnitude 5 near New York City. So we've just had one of these infrequent events. We don't, 4.7, we don't expect to be large enough to cause damage. Um, it, it's just not that big. But it is strong enough, as people have been describing, to be strongly felt. And you say 4.7 because we had heard it had been upgraded to 4.8, but the latest information you're getting, uh, Susan, is it was a 4.7 magnitude? Your information may be more up to date than, than mine is. That The estimates between you know, 0.1, they're going to change a little bit as the data are looked at more closely. Should folks out there, uh, because it's been felt not only in New York, but in Connecticut, in New Jersey, uh, including down here in Washington, D.C., in suburban Maryland, uh, the folks have felt it. Uh, uh, should people be worried right now about aftershocks? Sure, that's a great question. And we, earthquakes in the east are felt farther than the same size earthquake in the west because of the, the nature of the Earth's crust is different in the two places. So it, it's typical that people have felt this one so widely. Yes, aftershocks are always possible. You know, magnitude three-ish would be expected. Those would probably be felt more in the local area. There is always a small chance that an earthquake is going to be followed by something bigger within a few days, typically. Those odds are low, and it may be one in 20 or one in 100, but they're not zero. So we know that that is a, it's a remote possibility. Susan, what does it say to you that the epicenter, we're now told, is in Lebanon, New Jersey, west of New York City right now? It's, uh, it, it's right in the central New Jersey, but west of New York, and we're showing it on a map right now. Yeah, if you look at where earthquakes have struck, the, the mineral Virginia, as we call it, earthquake in 2011, it wasn't directly along the coast. It was into Virginia a little bit. So there are stresses along the Atlantic seaboard because you have continental crust sort of glued to oceanic crust and you've got things going on geologically. But it's not like a localized San Andreas fault where we know where the earthquakes are going to fall. You have a zone of stress. So it, it's not surprising to see earthquakes within that broader zone. Susan Huff, we will stay in close touch with you. Thank you very much for your expertise.